Hi, I'm Greg Harris, and among my many hats, I'm an advisor to Kryzen. I'm here with the team, and to start, could you guys introduce yourselves and give me a recap of 2018 for Kryzen? Sure, so I'm Shumbro Biswa, so as you guys know, I'm one of the co-founders of Kryzen. 2018 was really exciting. You know, we started Kryzen in 2018 and have made a tremendous amount of progress. Uh, at the moment, if you log on to our website, you can actually use the back tester for our algorithmic trading platform and January, February is when we're really looking to hit the technology home and open it up to everyone to trade uh, on the live markets. Hey, my name is Kirill Kanshin, I'm Chief Data Scientist in Kryzen. And 2018, as Shura said, was quite an active and interesting year. I have been spearheading uh, algorithmic de development for algorithmic trading. And uh, I'm sure that in general we'll surprise you with some sweet algorithms we have prepared for you. I'm Brian, I'm the business development manager, and 2018 was a whirlwind. It was truly a learning experience, lots of fun, uh, lots of development. We went to several events, and met to make some good connections, and we look forward to more progress in 2019. Cool. So uh, from what I hear, something uh, big is happening tomorrow for you, Shubro, and you, Brian. Can you, can you guys tell me about that? That's yes. right, that's right. So we're flying out tomorrow to San Francisco, it's for not just a couple of days, like three, three months, months for Disrupt. Three, exactly. three very, very good months. I can't wait to get out of this cold weather. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we got into the Ethereum Classic Labs program and they have uh, office space there and they're gonna you know, help us um, with uh, marketing and uh, lots of other uh, you know, resources they'll be providing. So we're, we're going there to work on site with uh, six other startups that also uh, got accepted into the Ethereum Classic Labs program. Hope it worked great for Crescent. I stay here on guard. <laughs> uh, so since you're uh, upending your lives and moving to San Francisco uh, for three months to, to do the Ethereum Classic Labs, uh, what would success look like at the end of, of that, uh, that accelerator experience? Um, you know, just being able to learn and work with people who have been in the field and have uh, you know, watched some startups grow and turn out successful, just, you know, the knowledge that we would get from being part of that experience uh, would be quite uh, meaningful itself. And then, you know, the marketing resources to take uh, our, our product, which is launching fully um, by the end of January. And, and pushing that out to users, you know, just having as many users as possible uh, would look like success. Using uh, the resources of Ethereum Classic Labs to do that uh, would, would help a lot and possibly further funding. Absolutely. We look at Ethereum, Ethereum Classic Labs as a stepping stone into the progress that we have planned for 2019. We look forward to the opportunity to learn from industry professionals and other startups alike and just go through the grinding process and learn and continue to grow. Uh, so as someone who's been through the Accelerator experience in the past, I can say it's a very uh, intense and sometimes draining experience. Uh, what, what advice do you have or what plan do you have to stay motivated and grounded uh, through that experience? Well, last year has been pretty intense, so I think we're, we're used to the intensity. Um, you know, we're only getting uh, smarter, better, and faster over time. Um, you know, we, we have better... Uh, you know, time management tools this year that we're using and you know it's just really about having the energy to grind it out and you know that's that's the name of the game and I think we'll, we'll be able to do that. The reward is always the work the reward will always make, uh, justify the means so we look forward to all of the you know cool features that we'll be rolling out in 2019 and um, we have a lot a lot in store. So the last couple of years have been uh, a hell of a roller coaster for cryptocurrencies and for blockchain. Uh, beyond Kryzen, uh, like what excites you, and inspires you, what projects, what trends uh, give you confidence that 2019 is going to be an interesting year for blockchain? So I'm personally interested in decentralized applications. Um, the currency aspect of cryptocurrencies are, of course, uh, you know, the main uh, first application that was born out of the technology and the problem solved um, uh, by Satoshi, but uh, the promise and, and the possibilities of decentralized applications where people can work with each other and you can have people being uh, organized and coordinated by applications that basically have no downtime, no possibility of censorship, um, 
that that's really interesting. So I would watch the DApp space and and platforms like Huion that make DApps possible and are actively working on making the technology scalable are technologies that I'll keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. uh, me personally, the thing that draws me the most to blockchain is the uncertainty. We know so little yet. We feel that we know so much and we have so much yet to learn. So the best thing about it is everybody's experimenting, people are trying new things. So for the next couple of years, all we do, all we'll be doing is learning and continue to expand our knowledge. So I feel that the uncertainty is really one of the most exciting factors. Exactly, and then just to add a little bit more, so I think 2019 will be a quieter, calmer year where the technology is progressing um, and maybe some of the hype associated with uh, you know, cryptocurrencies might fade a little bit, but you know, fundamentally there's more developers now in the Ethereum and uh, cryptocurrency ecosystem in general than ever before, and there's just going to be in incremental progress being made, um, and you know it's just about solving the, all the little challenges to to getting uh, to the full potential of decentralized uh, applications. Sure, and as sure I said, less hype makes actually the technology and the cryptocurrencies more mature, so it's only good for for the market, and at the end, only healthy and reliable cryptocurrencies will survive, and I think everybody will benefit from this. Uh, Kirill, on a more tactical note, I hear that uh, on the launch of the Cryzen platform, we can expect a suite of pre-made algorithms to be available. Can you expand on that? That's true. You might expect uh, several classes of strategies in our platform. One class of strategies will rely on, upon uh, technical indicators such as MACD, RSI, and a few others. On the other hand, we will have a pattern recognition system that will be able to recognize candle patterns in the uh, pricing data. And there's going to be a few other algorithms that we will keep us surprised, and you will see on at the end of January. Cool. Well, I hear that uh, we want to make this a recurring thing uh, so that we can track your progress uh, in San Francisco and, and through the accelerator. Um, so I look forward to our, our next chance to, to catch up with, uh, with that progress. Is there anything that you guys want to add before we, uh, we wrap this, this instance? Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing this on a weekly basis uh, to keep you guys updated and posted on our progress. Um, you know, video is a great medium for expressing ideas and thoughts, and it's also easier to consume than, than text. So we're uh, going to do this pretty frequently. I'm going to miss personally uh, Creo, Greg, and Absolutely. our cameraman so, yeah. Alex, uh, <laughs> but we'll still get them to join through Google Hangouts. Bye-bye, mm -hmm. guys. Cool. Take care, Cheers. guys. Cheers.